there who wants to do a movie, just understand it is a long commitment. And it's people think like, oh, when the movie's done being shot, it's over. It's not, I'm I'm still producing like literally today, like it just got off a production call. Like it's never over. It's yeah. like, you're still doing stuff. You got to get insurance afterwards. You got to make sure the closed captions are done and everyone's name is in the credits. It has and to be edited. It's just the editing, the color. It's just like, it's not, it's, Scoring, yep. even producing mm. the talent to come together and promote the film. I yes, think, and I give you credit for that because I couldn't micromanage all them people. Oh my first. god! I mean, like, look, and be small. Ever answer text messages? What? <laughs> I'm like, te- text me Please. all these emails. <laughs> <laughs> text me. Did you, how many times did you have to go back and say, "Uh, more money, ladies, more money, more money"? We only did twice. 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 Yeah. How did you feel? Ooh, Actually, you know what? Was already... No, I, no, Brie, we're lying. No, we did twice with the ladies, but we did end up bringing in an investor, an investor. Yeah. at the end. Yes, yeah, shout out to our like, our, our other our <laughs> other. Brie said, "I'm dead." <laughs> yeah, Brie was like, "I'm dead." So, but shout out to our other famous. EP, Delapo. He came in and he was an EP on the film. Yeah, shout out to Delapo. Yeah, you said that. Thank and Sean you. and Sean Wilson also came yeah. in. Thank you guys. Credit card. Gotcha. Yeah. So I still want to know, Brie. <laughs> yeah. The first call, I need a, the first call, you're like, ah, I don't do none of my friends with money. Okay, cool. She's like, okay, I'm in. I need more money. Yeah. I need more money. What is going on? I'm yeah. like, I need to see where these numbers are. Brie's asking for Excel sheets. I need a receipt or something. I'm the opposite, which is I do not recommend this, you guys. This is probably very ignorant and not smart to do, but I'd be like, I trust them. I don't know where my money going. <laughs> but yo, B has them. not asked one question not, this whole ordeal. But B, but Brie's like, like, so I can you send me? Down. I need to see this on paper. I need, yeah. to see, I need a visual. <laughs> I'm like, don't worry, Brie, it's coming. Yeah. I'm going to send you an email. But yeah. B's like, yeah, just whatever. Just let me know when it's done. Like I'm a financially literate person in in, in real life anyway. So she has just, a budget. Yeah, I live my life like that. So just to not know where my money is going yeah. drives me crazy. Yeah. But it's like I I know I trust Ernestine. I know the process. I know shooting a movie is super expensive. I know these people have to be paid. Mm-hmm. I know we gotta feed them something other than pizza. Yeah. Every day. Right. Welcome to another edition of the Social Proof Podcast. We have a very, very special episode. Uh, We have the create, don't wait examples of how to just get some stuff done. Yes. Yes. Ernestine, Brie Renee, B. Simone, the Scheme Queens. (laughs) The Scheme Queens. Not in real life. Not in real life. We are misses. No, this is So real quick, (laughs) introduce your uh, yourselves and kind of what you do and we'll be able to tie all this together, how y'all get the noise and all that. So we're going to start here. Yes, I am Ernestine Johnson Morrison. I'm an actress and producer and founder of Greenlit ATL. I am one of the Scheme Queens, our new feature film coming out with my girlfriends right here. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I think that name is going to go viral, but it's going to be for like a certain group of <laughs> type women. of. So I was just doing an interview and this, uh, this young lady said one of her, one of her uh, income streams was renting out her apparel renting out bags and stuff like that. Mm. Okay. And she said she rented out a Birkin. For From like her personal like, wardrobe? Yeah. Okay. Sure. I took it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh. She got a bur. She rented <laughs> out a Birkin for someone that wanted to go on a date. Hmm. And I said, is that a play? Because if a baller sees that you got a Burke and that means you already got money, so I don't need your money, when in actuality, you probably need their money. So yeah. that's the play to say. Or, 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 or it's like, like, she like coming correct, if she's coming so correct, I, I got to match that energy. Yeah, I gotta match. That's got another play. So I have to come with another type, another Birkin or yeah. another Or girl. ladies, be yourself. Right. <laughs> and pull up with the Aldo <laughs> and let that man know you're struggling. <laughs> right. he, he might want to see I ain't wearing Aldo. I need a man. See, I'm a damsel in distress. That's not a problem. I'm always trying to be strong. Always trying to be strong. Don't be strong. Pull up to the date broke. <laughs> Steve Madden Steve Madden right. y'all gonna get right. this uh, Steve Madden back that's that's why the rabbit going wrong I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that yeah me you too know? while we're here <laughs> introduce yourself Brie <laughs> hey y'all my name is Brie Renee I go by Brie Renee straight from the A hey. um, I'm a radio personality here on Streets 94.5 FM as well as a talk show host on Revolt's newest show mm. Black Girl Stuff yes. Yes. congratulations yes. Black Girl Stuff thank you congrats Yes, I am B. Simone. I am an actress, stand-up comedian, CEO, entrepreneur, and yeah, I'm the, I was about to say this. Thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> Just do your best, B. Do <laughs> your best. Do your best, B. So how, how did y'all get together as friends? How did this friendship work? 
before the movie, but I how y'all connect? Well, I was doing Bree's hair. She used to do my hair. When I first moved out here. I'm really? a licensed best. cosmetologist. I did yes. hair for 15 years. You wore hair. And yes. she did the best sewing <laughs> ever. Like, I'm, I'm low-key sad she still don't do hair. I'm great. Like, like, I, I hate you. Like, yeah. I should have laid my edges down like that. Yeah. But, but yeah, she was doing my hair. And I'm like, yo, you're funny. Mm. Like you really should be doing comedy, yeah. And we were like encouraging each other to chase our dreams, yeah. So that's how we became friends. What year was that? Well, maybe what was when you first moved out here. What year did so you like, first move here? When I was twenty six, I'm thirty two. Do the math. Mm. That was two thousand and sixteen. Around then, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, around the same time. Mm-hmm. So around two thousand and sixteen. Yeah. yeah, that's how I met B Simone. But how did how did you how did y'all meet? Like, how did you... Did somebody say, oh, this person does hair? Right. Or? Like, how did you get in my chair? I don't know. I don't know about that. I think that. you were posting... Probably. On yeah. social media yeah. about doing hair. Because, you know, so wins like $200. So you were already, already probably doing her. like... $20 yeah. so in today. Please, somebody come. Well, I don't think I was already... Maybe like the Explore page or something. I used to always do discounts. Yeah. I used to shop discounted. at the store that was connected to your hair salon that you worked yeah, at. Yeah, next door. What was that store? Envy. 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 Yeah. I used to yep. shop there. Maybe it could have been that too. That. Yeah. yeah. It could have been that. But when I seen them cheap sun wins and it looked good, but mm. I was like, let me get my I was trying to build my clientele. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, B was a rapper first. Yeah. And that's how I started following her because she did like one of these raps and it went viral or something. I don't know. And I was like, oh, I like her because um, I think I'm a rapper, but I don't have rhythm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you became a poet. So, I started, I became a poet. So I started following her and um, I was doing a movie called Digital Lives Matter starring DC Young Fly and we needed to find a love interest for DC mm-hmm. Young Fly. And I was like, I was telling um, my producing partner, Cass, I was like, there's this girl I follow. I want her to be DC's yeah. love interest. So I think I slid in her dance, but she didn't see it. But I happened to actually run into her at a restaurant and she was like, you're the poet. I just seen your, your poem because oh, I had a poem that w- went viral called Why Did I Let Him Just F Me? And I don't know why B. Simone loved that poem so much because <laughs> I resonated with it. Right. <laughs> like, why did I do that? Right. <laughs> she was like, you're the poet. You're the poet. I just I just um, saw your poem and I was like, was I got an opportunity poem. for you. Yeah. And yeah, that's and how that we, brings back full circle because we yeah. met Digital Lives Matter. She wanted me to be DC Young Fly's love interest. We're missing a scheme queen who is Jackie, yes. and that's how I met Jackie on the set of a that set movie. Of that movie, right? Yeah, I DC met her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Dang. And so, I met I met Jackie because Beast, and I love to tell this story too because it just shows how far you've grown in your career. But Jackie, D, you bought Jackie to my birthday dinner. At Capitol mm. Grill one year. I think oh, was, my God. Yeah, and they were and like... I had to share food because I didn't have no money. She was like, we don't have wow. any money, so we're just going to share a salad. And I'm like, girl, my mama going to pay for this. You good, you good. <laughs> but now, she be paying for my food. You know that's what I mean? Crazy. She's grown so far. Yeah. So that's how I met Jackie, but... And I met Jackie through DC because DC and I used to be with the same management company. We used to be part of this troupe called Ratchet People Meet. I remember that. Yeah, so that, that was lit at the yeah. time. Yeah, so that was like 2014. Me and DC were doing skits all over the internet and then that's how I met Jackie. And then I met Brie Renee met in acting, acting class. class. Yeah. Sasha Smith had an acting workshop here in Atlanta and her and I both took it and I met her and I was like, mm, I like her. She's going to be my friend. That's how I do. Like when I see someone who I want to be my friend, I'm just, I'm just going to make you my friend. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to be her friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was from the understanding of just as a, uh, as a kid growing up that it's hard for women to get along and be friends. Have y'all experienced that just outside of outside of your union, right? Yeah. Uh, it seems like it's it's hard for women to stay friends together. You've experienced that? I would say I've experienced it and I would say that I've seen it. Um, but I think it take like when you find your tribe and find like women who think that the way you think, and really it's a confidence thing. I think a lot of times women can't stay friends because there's like underlining competition, uh, underlining energy where I can't support you and you support me back and there's no competition. And I've seen it. I've been a part of it. So I think with this particular group of friends, it's like, yo, we really, really root for each other and mm-hmm. we're all confident. Like, you cannot be confident and be a part of this group. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, B's a brand. She got her own thing going on. Brie Renee is beautiful. And we're going to hype you up and gas you up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, you can't be, you can't sit over here yeah. if you don't, if you're not confident. <laughs> that too. And I think it's hard because a lot of people don't know how to be a friend. Mm. So you can't have friends or you have trouble keeping friends because you don't know how to be a friend. Yeah. yeah. And if you know how to be a friend, like you said, you find people yeah. that you resonate with. It's easy because you know what you wouldn't do to them. And y'all have the same level of standard when it comes yeah. to friendship. For sure. But, can, you, can you explain? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was also going to say, we talked about this in the car, which we talk about on my podcast, No For Sure Podcast, drops every Tuesday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we talk about healing, growth, and evolution, but the importance of platonic relationships. Yeah. Like you would say... 
hey, that hurt my feelings why you do that to your romantic partner, but you wouldn't say it to your homegirl. Yeah. Like, that's just as important to have deep conversations yeah. to be like, hey, you hurt my feelings. Or we just hey, had a conversation I, in the we car. We just had a conversation in the car. And I was like, thank you so much for telling me that. Like, I would be so much more intentional. You yeah. would do, I would do that with a man I'm dating. Yeah. So why would not do that with my female friends? Yeah. You know, platonic relationships are just as important as romantic relationships. I think a ship is a ship. Yeah. Like and you need to water it though. Yeah. Friendship yeah. is the same. So it's like, we're supposed to be together we're supposed to be holding each other accountable. We're supposed to be rooting and cheering each other yes. on, pouring into each other equally. So it, it to me, the only thing that's different about a romantic relationship is the added intimacy. Yeah. Right, like right. The sexual intimacy, because we have intimacy. intimacy. Yeah. That's what I was going to say, that sexual intimacy, because we do like have that intimacy where I feel so full yeah. after having conversations. Explain the intimacy, the non-sexual intimacy. Yeah. yeah. So it. there's a level, and I actually feel like Y'all, that I can be more intimate with you guys. Than I think I have so too. Been with I, can, males. I can agree to that. <laughs> I can agree to that. Then with men, because I feel safer to express my feelings mm. and, and my true deepest thoughts. I have I have a level of freedom with you guys when I'm like, hey, this is what you did that hurt me or this is what I'm really going through or this yeah. is my struggle with God right now. I don't feel like there are a lot of men that I can have those different range of conversations yeah. with. Mm -hmm. And for me, that mental, that's intimacy. It's fulfilling. It's fulfilling. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think to your, to your question too, like, we get very intimate with each other. Mm -hmm. Like intimate conversations are about spirituality, about sex, about God, about what hurts our feelings, what what our desires are. And like, I don't think a lot of goals. platonic friends, goals, I don't think a lot of platonic friends have that conversation. And I tell you this all the time, like people be quick to call you bro or sis. I don't use that word lightly. If I call you bro or sis, it's because I really mean that. And we've had a mutual exchange and we know each other. I don't just throw that word friend around like r lightly. Yeah. You know what I mean? That I, I I guess I, it makes sense now. So I I think we've had a uh, an intimate moment. Dre, I'm gonna go on somewhere. Just calm down, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like so, I'm, I'm teaching <laughs> acting classes, and when you said it, it didn't. I, I was trying to understand what it means to have an intimate, intimate. moment with somebody. Uh, we've you been think intimate. Intimacy, you we've think been sex. intimate together. And think about sure. intimacy is taking, getting naked, taking yeah. the walls yeah. down, yeah. Yeah. yeah, feeling safe to not be so guarded, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I was I was talking through. We, I was taking an acting class with Ernestine, and like you we took really, the class. Yeah, look at you. I came to her house. Like, came to my house like, and everything. How did he do? How did I do? We need to work. We need a little more work. <laughs> <laughs> never for session never two. came back for session two. <laughs> See friendship, honestly. But, but you, you know what it was? It wasn't about learning a line or um Memory. or how I'm yeah how mm -hmm. I, how I'm acting. Most of the time it. She spent time trying to understand where my emotions are personally. Coming from yeah. where they're coming from. Because mm -hmm. I don't. Because I don't. I don't. I don't have um, emotions that are easily displayed. Yeah, most men so don't. She, yeah, so yeah. she was just walking me through that. Like, yo, when's the last time you cried? Yeah, and we're going like deep, and I, I just felt we really had a moment. That was a moment. That's yeah. no. That was you a moment. And you, and you feel like yeah. when you have these moments with your friends, like you really feel like, wow, this is really my friend. Yeah. Like we've had. Like, of course, all of us are popular or whatever you know a lot of people but there's a difference between knowing people and, p and people that like know you and people that are your friends yeah and I feel like all of us like I've had intimacy with you I've had intimacy with you I've had yeah. intimacy with you and I think that's important and, and that's what makes our friend group so special and mm -hmm. you have to work on it and become the type of friends you're trying to attract mm -hmm. like well all my friends it's like well what are you, you doing? keep hanging out with them. Yeah. <laughs> you must be attracted to something in messy people or, yeah. you know, right. like there's something. You entertain that, the mess. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. more you grow in your spirituality and your mindset and your um, support and your growth, like you're going to attract people yeah. like that. Yeah. You what know, if, what have you had been, what have you had to work on in terms of being a friend? Like, is this a, oh a is this gosh. something that's just natural Ooh, or is it a Jesus. conscious being a friend? It's a conscious, intentional effort every single day yeah it is per person like yeah. i'll give you a prime example megan ashley everybody knows she's my best friend half of the know for sure podcast she moved to atlanta maybe two years ago and i had the first three months i hadn't seen her kids or anything like i'm like it's like oh my girl's in atlanta da, 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 da. um and we kind of got into uh our first like she was like i've been in atlanta for three months and you haven't seen my kids i'm like oh girl come by and see the kids when you want me to come see the kids she's like no you're not hearing me like that is an important part of my life. I'm yeah. like, dang, like Jackie don't give a damn if I see her kids. Mm -hmm. And then once Jackie heard that conversation, she was like, actually, I, I would love for you to be in my kids' life. Yeah. I so it's like each person is 
you you the relationship. You need yes, different things. it's different. Like I'll give certain people don't it's like, need. That's how you like have to pour into your wife. Yes, to get, certain like, things. Like we have, you have to do that with your friends. Yeah. And you, this friend may like quality time. This friend may like gifts. This friend may like to go out to eat. And yeah. you have to know what, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, I just recently told Brie, I'm like, Brie, like, I'm a quality time person. I want to come over to your house and just hang out. Yeah. Like, we don't have to be going to an event. I didn't that, though. Yeah. Uh, first off, yeah. Christine need a call back or she going to put it no. on Instagram. <laughs> she like, she I want y'all to know my friend ain't hit me back. And call me back. back. <laughs> and David, yeah. I was going to give you that example. I know that about Ernestine <laughs> now because we've had those conversations. Yeah. But me and B. Simone, we don't have to talk. I'm the opposite. We, we both I don't are. have to see nobody. I'll see you in a year and tell you my deepest, darkest secret. <laughs> exactly. Like, We're the same when it comes. Yeah. I think maybe that's the Aries thing, too. Yeah. Like we don't really need yeah. that much of it, so like it's just like so much time can pass by without us even time picking up like the phone. The but once we get together, we'll go on a vacation yeah. together, or we'll go out to eat, and then it's like no time has passed. Yeah. But with Ernestine is like, no, I need to talk to you yeah. now. Yeah. 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 I called you twenty minutes yeah. ago, and I still haven't yeah. got a call back. I'm yeah. going on Instagram. Yeah. To call you so you cater it per person, Literally. and you take time and be intentional to learn each person. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah, Man, this is crazy. I, I'm I'm starting to reflect. I'm sure y'all are thinking like, dang, there's some people I need to call. Yeah, yeah. Am I being a friend, am, like, especially am I if so... they care about that, it's yeah. not about what you care about. Like, like I need words of affirmation. Do. I need you to tell me I am doing. You're doing great. You're doing great. Keep yeah. going. Mm. I need affirmation. Yeah. Other people are like, girl, don't tell me nothing. Show me. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. So and see, I'm the opposite. Like you were just saying, y'all did great. And I'm like, don't just tell me I'm doing great. I need the criticism. <laughs> yeah. Cause I feel like you don't love me if you didn't pay enough to it to see to what I could something. do better. Yeah. So it's like it's so different it's for each different. person. Yeah. And like you said, it's not about um, I was being the friend to everybody, the type of friend that I needed. But you got to be the friend that, that they, they need. need. So it yeah. is about how they receive love. And I'm going <laughs> to say this too. You kind of got to take accountability and self-reflect too. It's like, bitches ain't going to affirm you every day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but you're, like, you're great. You know what I'm saying? So if your thing is quality time, you ain't going to always get the quality time. If your yeah. thing is gifts, you're yeah. not going to get a gift every Friday. <laughs> right? Get your man now. <laughs> you but know, it's like you small need things, Dave. Like so even it's like, both. You have to take accountability to yeah. not want so much from people and yeah. find certain things within yourself. Because yeah. everybody dealing with their own stuff too. Own yeah. Stuff, yeah. We all are dealing with so, so much, much behind the scenes. So we have to be Lord. mindful of that as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah. I'm cracking. Ernestine was like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't on the verge, babe. Talk me off the ledge. <laughs> yeah, I never even thought about, like, this conversation, I, I never thought about how much work it takes to be a friend. Ooh, you know, yes. it's work. A true it's friend. It's really work. To be a well, true you, friend. To be a true friend, it's really, really work. And you do and it I when you care. You re- I, yeah. And I think, we talked about this too, like, when you do have those people in your life that go the extra mile to show you I'm a friend, like, I think we should all really appreciate those people. Yep. Because... Everyone, my mom used to always say when I was growing up, you, you're lucky if you have one real friend in life. Mm-hmm. And I used to be like, oh, please, I have a bunch of friends. Mm-hmm. But then as you get older, you realize you're like, no, like having a real friend, they come few, far in between. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Someone who's yeah. invested in you, who wants to see you win, who supports you, who's there for you, who, who won't judge you, who's like interested in your life. It's like when I call you, I'm like, we get to business, but I'm also like, how's, how's during the kids? Yeah, like, sure. how's everybody in the family? Yeah. Like I start with that first because it's not about just our transactional things. It's like I want you to know that I'm invested in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's work. Ernestine yeah. is a whole friend. I ain't gonna lie. To you. <laughs> what? She is. I ain't gonna lie. She, Ernestine she's literally is a friend. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, sure. all right, I don't know if I'm ready to be this type of friend. This is serious. Right? Then I'm like, am I being like, as good a friend? It's or like, am I, like commitment, she commitment. Like yeah. she yeah. trying to walk down the aisle. Yeah. I'm just trying to date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I like you. No. I love this, man. And the fact that you can be friends, but then come together and do business together. Yes. Yes. Because you know money. Yeah, money. I'm so afraid. (laughs) I hate having conversations about money, like conflict when it comes Mm -hmm. to money. And so I was definitely apprehensive at first about jumping just full force in this. I'm like, you want me to put up thousands of dollars? (laughs) (laughs) You know, because that makes it awkward sometimes. And everybody don't handle business the way you handle business. So I was very nervous and scared about it because money make people act different. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You can see the worst of somebody. Yeah. 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 Talk about it. Did anybody else have any concerns with friendship, mixing with business? business at all? I threw mine right in. With this like, particular venture? Mm-hmm. With Scheme Queens? No. Yeah. I'm going to be honest though. I first was not going to ask anybody for any money because I know how it could be with money mm-hmm. and friends. I literally didn't ask them. 
I was like, I'm like, girl, what? Right. I yeah. was I was gonna fund it. I already had an investor and I was gonna fund this film and I ran it by Brie. And Brie was like, No, I'm I'm yeah, in, I'm I'm in on this. Yeah. Mm. So then when she was on when she was like, I'm in on this, I'm like, well, let's call B to make, you know, see if she wants to get in on this. Yeah. We called B and B was like, Yep, but send it. So it, it wasn't a hard decision at all. But Gosh. that comes with trust. Yeah. 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 It's like if this EJ is- or Brie come to me with something, I trust them yeah so i'm not like all right hold on i mean you do want to be like what is this but you trust them so we i know also not the friends that's coming with you with every idea like i got this car wash yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please stop doing friends. that i got like this airline company yeah, <laughs> every week that. you got a new investment yeah, we, ain't seen, nothing, we ain't, ain't seen nothing from the past six <laughs> llc's right exactly no we're literally not it's also friends. not that yeah right. yeah we were at the, uh, the premiere and jackie mentioned like she was like we were talking jackie was like oh i ain't put up no money yeah yeah, yeah. What's why not? All right, listen. Every single week, every episode, you hear me talking about the morningmeetup.com. It's the community. Let me show you what's happening here. Every single morning, Monday through Friday, there's 400 plus people on a Zoom call, right? We're learning, we're talking, we're growing together. And this is you. There's all these people here. It's all these people in the morning meetup. Hundreds of people reading books, growing. We get together quarterly. It's amazing. And for some reason, you just keep looking at, just go to themorningmeetup.com and get in the circle. And then you'll be like way happier. Just themorningmeetup.com. Let's get back to the episode. I just don't think it was the right time for her. Yeah. You know? she, had a new yeah. Baby. she had a new yeah. baby. To be honest, I didn't ask. Yeah. And, and, and she could have been available. I don't. I just didn't ask. Yeah. She just had a baby. It was yeah. a lot going on. Yeah. So I felt. She was buying a house. She, was yeah. buying, she just bought a house. Right, right. So I just didn't even think, I just didn't want to put that extra Ask on it her, was no so pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it was all good. The only reason I said it is because she said it. Yeah, and like, yeah. And she was like, "I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it." She was like, "I just want to make that very clear. I didn't put up no money." Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. 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 So, I had, so, so, talk to me from like idea, your idea. So the feature film was my idea, yes, but it started from Brie Renee got us all together a few years ago to do a short film. So cool. So we did a short film together, and what I was did a short film. This, it was a skit. It was, it was a similar, skit. Yeah. A similar a skit, yes. idea, a skit. The one uh, the set it off joint. Yeah, yes. yes. on the roof. So that was your idea. No, 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 no. no. Before that, that set it off joint was a skit. That was literally the scenery. Just a skit. I saw that one too. Yes, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So Ernest, after we did that short together, Ernestine believed in it and thought like, "Hey, like, this, this needs to be a movie yeah. feature film." And I'm like, "Well, I don't know how to do that, sweetie. We know how to do Instagram. I'm gonna do skits with iPhones, TikToks, and reels. Crew, I don't know. I don't know who to hire, how to do that. And I'm like, okay." <laughs> I can see it being the script being that yeah. but mm-hmm. I don't understand I had never put together the a process how to yeah. do it so again it goes back to having friends that believe in you that are, are resourceful because she pulled it together she hit up a uh, cast to write the script mm-hmm. and then her and Greenlit they got all of the I'm talking about from the grip everybody down like the whole crew so it was just like wow the whole process has been so informative and learning I'm like I don't even know what an EP does it's my mind. What am I? an EP <laughs> yeah, right yeah so to, you're, to, an, to, you're an EP I'm yes. an EP because we put up money what yes. does EP stand executive, executive producer. Producer. producer so the executive producer is generally someone who puts up the money gotcha. mm-hmm. or you could have a vanity executive producer which we're using you for your name so we're using Will Smith as our executive producer, he may not he may not have even done anything, but he's allowing us to use his name because he this. believes in the project. That's a vanity producer. Mm-hmm. But going back to the initial when Brie got us together to do the short film, right? So we did short films, and then from short films we did skits together and scene reenactments. But I always knew like this group of four women, like we just have such a great synergy in anything mm-hmm. that we've ever done, whether it be TikToks or reels, it just blows it's up. Fun, yeah. When we did the set it off on top of the roof, like it went viral. Mm-hmm. So um, did that cost any money? No, a no, no. um, couple dollars well, at Walmart outfits, for the yeah. outfits. I went yeah. and got the outfits and gotcha. Couple, you can leave the tag on. Take it back. Eugene Bush. Shot yeah, we had Eugene yeah. 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 for us. We shot it at the Legacy Center, so mm-hmm. that was pretty fun. But yeah, so then we were like. I'm, I want to make this into a feature film. Like, I want this to be a feature film. She kept saying it. I'm like, like, I kept saying year. I'm like, really? year. let's over do year. a feature film. Let's, and I'm yeah. like, let's do a part two. We, like, okay. do we never said no. We just like, well, I'm not taking the initiative. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even if know you want to do it, that, do it. Do it. <laughs> I'll be there. Literally. So I knew that too because 
and then this is just a really busy group of friends. Yeah. So yeah. like, I feel like if I have an idea or Brie has an idea or B has an idea, it's best if whoever has the idea just takes the lead because right. we're all busy. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to take the lead. I literally just text them like, y'all, I'm making this a feature film. And yeah. I was like, this is when the table read is. And he's like, like, okay. Literally cast a table read. They showed up to the table read, like script, how do you get the script done? Call my girl, Cast Seekers Beatles, my mentor, Cass Seekers, wrote the script. And we're doing this thing. We're doing gotcha. a feature film. When did it go from idea? Because you're talking about it for a year. Yes. What, did, so, did something happen? Did something trigger you to say, all right, I got to stop talking about this. And now it's time. Yeah. Well I, well, I think in general, I'm always creating. I'm a creator. That's what I do. That's that's what Greenlit, my, my company, Greenlit ATL, that's just what we do. I'm always thinking of ways as an actress to put myself in position. Yeah. But I was having a conversation, this particular conversation with my mentor, Cass, and we were like, um, a lot of people are making money on Tubi right now. Mm. We were like, let's just do a quick little cheap Tubi movie because people, mm. like, I know filmmakers making six figures a month on Tubi right now. Mm -hmm. Really? And so me and Cass were like, let's just do a quick little 50-piece joint. We were just going to do a $50,000 film together, her <laughs> and I. We were going to do something hood and <laughs> just put it together and slap it together and we were just going to put something on Tubi. That wasn't going to happen. No, okay, so how much was this one? <clears throat> this one, we spent a little under half a million. Way over budget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally. Was we went from, me and Cash, like, we're going to do a $50,000 film and then... But shoot. when you get us, we like, I am... It can't look like that. It can't look yeah. like that. <laughs> First of all, all of us are too bougie no, no. to do a $50,000 like, anything. We can't put this out. Yeah. <laughs> How much more does it cost? How much more do we need? <laughs> I'll call my accountant now. Yeah. Like, we can't do it. For yeah. like, you, in, in hindsight, like, you think you want to do a $50,000 film until you actually see what a $50,000 film looks, looks like. like. And it's like, uh -huh. we, none of us are $50,000 yeah. film. Right, yeah. Right, right, yeah. So, yeah. I was like, I, I was like, I was talking to Cass and I was like, well, we have, I have a group of girls. Like she was like, you know, things with influencers are really big right now. And I was like, well, all my friends are influencers. And I was like, let's just use my friends. And then I was like, oh, we did something a while ago and we've been doing stuff together. Like, let's just do this. And Cass literally whipped this script up in, I would say a week. That's so crazy. So hold on, hold on. So you just have an idea. Okay, we're going to do a movie. We don't have a concept yet. But based on something you did a year ago, mm -hmm. let's just expand on that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You give it to Cass yeah. and yeah. she writes the script. Wrote the, she wrote, the script. wrote the whole script in like a week. Yeah. She killed it too. Yeah. Killed it. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Even when she told us like, hey, Cass is going to write the script. I'm like, okay, we're going to shoot this probably next year. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, uh, we start filming tomorrow. Yeah, I was like, yeah, no, we start filming in two weeks. Like, I was like, no, we're, this is the dates. Everyone put these dates in your calendar. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. What yeah. was it, a 13 day shoot? It's a 13-day shoot. 13-day shoot. We shot this yeah. movie in 13 days. Right around. Wow. It's like a year. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Almost. Yes. Yep. We started all of this. We did all of this November, November of last mm -hmm. year. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. So, yeah. So, when she writes the script, do we know how much it's going to cost as she write, as she's writing it? So, no, no. We did not. No. <laughs> so, again, our initial idea was write a $50,000 movie. Mm -hmm. Cass, Seagrass Beatles, though, shout out to my mentor, Cass, she doesn't have a $50,000 mind. Yeah. Okay. So when she wrote, it's really a million dollar script. It's mm -hmm. like, it, initially it's like supposed to be more guns and more like action and jumping off roofs. Yeah. But it's like, when you start doing all that, then that's more budget. Yeah. So when she wrote the script, we looked at it and we were like, this is nowhere near a $50,000 yeah. script. So you start doing the budget based off your locations and what you wrote in the script. And once we figured out how much we really need, that's when we came together and we were like, all right, y'all, this is how much we need. So everybody in, y'all in, this is what we're doing. So after the script is written, we're calculating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did the calculations come to like the half a million dollars or lower? Lower? Because you know, what do we so think? Day by day, call? you start adding stuff. Right. It's like, we need this. We need, yes. okay, we could do. And right. you have it's to just, make your days. Yes. So, which is why now when it comes to producing and even on the show on Revolt, I am such a stick. Jackie for be time. like, what are we doing? Right. I'm like, yeah, no, Jackie was so good at it on set. Like, yeah. and now I understand and appreciate. I'm like little Jackie when I'm on other sets. Because <laughs> if you don't make your days, that's a whole nother day. We have, have to, to make up for an extra day to person. film. And what does that equate to? What is a day? So making to? your day is basically if we have five scenes, we'll say we shot like eight scenes in a day. Yeah. Normally. Mm -hmm. So if we didn't make all shoot all eight scenes, that means those scenes have to roll over. You have to add a day of production. So then that means you have to You're pay for everyone for to be whole, there again. Yeah. And your about, whole crew. And about what is a day's production equate to? Cost. Time or money? Yeah. I would Both. say I don't know. okay, let me do the math. So actually. time you wanna have you're gonna have at least a, tw a fifteen hour day. At no, least. we did 12 hour days. Some days we did we went over. So Yeah, 12, 15. About the same. Same. <laughs> That's about the same. God. So I say safe. I, for safe, I like to have a little extra. Right, I would right. tell everybody this is gonna be a 15 hour day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would say anywhere between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars a day. <sighs> yeah. To shoot slow. To shoot slow. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because you yeah, think about it. You're paying. Golly, you're paying. I'm like, let's get it going, guys. Right, yeah, let's yeah, go. Let's go. You're paying the cast. Right. You're paying the cast. You're paying the crew. We had a 70 person crew. Mm-hmm. So you think you're paying 70 people by the and day. That's, and that's a skeleton crew. Yeah. We, so we, had, we had a skeleton crew. And we, had a, crew. We, had about, yeah. we had about nearly 70 people in our casting crew. And you're paying those people every day. Setting up lighting. We were, we were supposed oh to do gosh. a 12, you got a 12 day shoot. You have to have a lunch. You got to feed that food. You got to feed people. Feed you have to. You have to feed them <laughs> twice a day. <laughs> by law. <laughs> breakfast and lunch. Breakfast bites, and lunch. Let's get back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got time hey, for the whole sandwich. Okay. Right. Snack <laughs> while you hold that camera, bro. Right. Yeah. 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 So what was the initial number after the script's done? So the initial number, we were like, okay, let's spend about, let's spend about 200. Let's spend about 200,000. Mm. No, okay, didn't happen. So that's the call you guys get 200, 200. <laughs> we kept eating goals. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like 15 months. I'm like, hey guys, I know I said this on the last call, but I'm actually going to need a little bit more if you if you guys are in. <laughs> We're like, okay, EJ. Then oh, you get wow. to post and post calls. And, you, and then you too. get so far mm. in, it's like you have to keep You're paying. Have We're to keep in going. it now. Yeah. We have to finish. So for this. anyone out there who wants to do a movie, just understand it is a long commitment and it's People think like, oh, when the movie's done, being shot, it's over. It's not, I'm I'm still producing like literally today, like it just got off a production call. Like it's never over. It's like, yeah. you're still doing stuff. You got to get insurance afterwards. You got to make sure the closed captions are done and everyone's name is in the credits. It has and to be edited. It's just the editing, the color. It's just like, it's not, it's scoring. Yep. Even producing mm. the talent to come together and promote the film. I yes. Think, and I give you credit for that because I couldn't micromanage all them people. Oh like my God. Thing. I mean like, look. And be small, ever up. answer text messages. What? I'm like, Te- text me all these emails <laughs> <laughs> text me did you, how many times did you have to go back and say uh more money ladies more money more money we only did twice twice twice, twice. Yeah. yeah how did you feel actually you know what? Brie was already no, no Brie we're lying no we did twice with the ladies but we did end up bringing in an investor, an investor. at it. the end yes shout out to our like, our, our other our other <laughs> Brie said I'm tapped out <laughs> yeah Brie was like I'm done so but shout out to our other this. EP Delapo he came in and he was an EP on the film yeah shout out to Delapo yeah, yeah. Said and right. Sean and Sean Wilson also yeah. came thank in thank you guys credit card gotcha. yeah so I still want to know Brie <laughs> yeah the first call I need a, the first call you're like ah, I'll do none of my friends with money okay cool she's like okay I'm in. I need more money. Yeah. I need more money. What is going on? I'm yeah. like, I need to see where these numbers That's are. Crazy. <laughs> Brie's not asking for Excel sheets. <laughs> <laughs> I need a receipt or something. I'm the opposite, which is I do not recommend this, you guys. This is probably very ignorant and not smart to do, but I'd be like, I trust them. I don't know where my money going. <laughs> but Yo, money B has not asked one question not, this whole ordeal. But B, but Brie like, like, so can I you send me? Down. I need to see this on paper. I need, yeah. to see, I need a visual. I'm like, don't worry, Brie, it's coming. Yeah. I'm going to send you an email. But yeah. B's like, yeah, just whatever. Just let me know when it's done. Because <laughs> I'm like, a real, like, I'm a financially literate person in, in, in real life anyway. So she has just, a budget. Yeah, I live my life like that. So just to not know where my money is going yeah. drives me crazy. Yeah. But it's like, I I know I trust Ernestine. I know the process. I know shooting a movie is super expensive. I know these people have to be paid. Mm-hmm. I know we got to feed them something other than pizza. Yeah. Every day. Right. So I'm like, okay, but yeah, we it good was very, too. We, we didn't good. eat good. We didn't do pizza. But making it, it was very sense. nerve-wracking. And then I tapped out. I was, t- like, I had literally put my entire savings into this. Then I had to go to my mom. Yep. Yeah. My mom really? already be calling yep. me a a broke A actress. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she Yo, one me. time, Brie um, Bri and I went to Miami for ABFF, American Black Film Festival. And her mom called and she was on speakerphone. She's like, what y'all doing? Y'all y'all at the um, actors thing? We're like, yeah, we're ABFF. She goes, y'all just going to be some broke A actresses. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy your little broke A weekend. Like, hey. She was like, enjoy y'all, y'all, little, enjoy y'all broke weekend. Yeah, my mom is an entrepreneur. She's a, la- a numbers lady. She yeah. runs multi, two she's multi-million not a creative. dollars. She's yeah, like she's a, a business woman. woman. Yeah. yeah, so she's like, why would you want to be a creative when I have two successful businesses that you could just step in and run. Like, mm. that ain't my purpose. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Right? Yeah. She does sewer work. I don't care about no sewers, sewers in Atlanta. It's <laughs> <laughs> literally doodle. Doodle business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about that. <laughs> it's very lucrative though. Yeah. Wow. But yeah. No. So like, just fast forward before we get into the making of the movie. Um, when we put that type of money into the movie. Oh, but first off, you said you brought in some other investors. We yeah. did, yes. Okay. Yeah. Two other investors at towards the end. We were tapped. Had to, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because starts just stuff at, stuff just starts adding up and you're like, oh yeah, we're gonna have to bring in some reinforcements. Cause uh, <laughs> Yeah, little how, how much outside capital did you have to get? We got a mm, hundred and sixty thousand dollars extra. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. 
did the do they get like a equal percentage off of the whole thing or you just say I'm going to give you your money back no they they get an ROI but cool. um I, I would say one of our EPs is, is a hell of a negotiator He's a mm. he's a real businessman. So gotcha. um, we didn't even negotiate. It's just like with any other business. You're a businessman. You're a business or or woman. You negotiate what you want. So it's like okay, I'll come in for this, but this is what I want back. And you either take so the deal or you leave it. What? Yeah. So Ernestine called me for the sponsorship, but you ain't called me for the investment. Like, I come did on. call you for the investment. No, you didn't. Oh, no, wow. you didn't. Oh, wow. Like, no, Are we lying on Social Proof Podcast? I don't. Because I, I literally remember. was like, I was like. Actually, you were the first person I called because I called you before I even called them. Wow. I don't remember that. Yeah. No, no. I you didn't had some... you were talking about. You was like, oh, we need to put some money up for a movie. But I didn't, I didn't know what the movie was. I didn't. Yes, we talked about it. We talked... I think it was still an idea at that <laughs> point, though. But when, has, when have I ever had an idea and you know me not to execute on it? So I'm doing something. I'm pretty much doing something. I should have put in on this. No one. I know I should have put in. I so I did call you, though. but Dave did. Yeah, 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 he did have sponsorship. Yeah, so we did have some product placement for, um, from David Shands. <laughs> we did have some product placement yeah, for, for you. Sure, so thank you, my brother. That was in the movie. But you know what? It wasn't. It was so fast. His t-shirt. It was so quick. He gave two seconds. I did it for support. I wasn't. I wasn't worried about it. But I do want to shout you out, though. Speaking, going back to speaking of being a good friend, like. David, I just called him. I was like, hey, we need some sponsorships for product placement. He literally just sent me the money that day. Like, didn't ask a whole bunch of questions. Yep, and yep. he was like, he literally said, I'm doing this because I want to support you. That comes with trust, though. Yes. You guys, I do want to stress that. Yes, you can support your friends, but you also have to trust them. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be dishing money out and like, I gave you $100 last week. I gave you 5000 this week. Like, <laughs> yeah. where is you know, this you know, going? I don't even think it's trust. It's just... It it's is rela- trust. It's relationship. But it's relationship, too. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you built the trust. Like, yeah, Dave, sure. I literally called him and was like, hey, this is what we're doing. And he was like, I love you. I support you. Where, where do you want me to send it? No. Literally didn't ask no questions. No. I don't even know. But I, think I don't even believes... think he really cared if the shirt was in there or not. Yeah. yeah. No, but I think David I didn't, believes... I didn't think about it until I saw the shirt in there. I was <laughs> like, oh, let's go. I want $5,000. That was it. That was it. That was real thing. No, I think it goes back to David also believing in your ability to execute. Yeah. Like, if you know, like, again, you know you got a friend that actually does everything that they, they say they're, they're going to do. Yeah. 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 And I have sure. no problem with, if David called me, I would, it, it's not even about whether I trust David with For the, sure. I don't care what you do with the money once I give it to you yeah. I believe in what you're what you, what do. you say you're gonna do yeah, yeah. you know what that I mean that relationship yeah. equity is something you gotta build it up yeah. it yeah. so I tell people all the time relationship capital is more valuable than money it is more valuable sure. than anything yeah. Yeah. I have been able to maneuver the way I've maneuvered just simply off relationships, relationships. it's phone calls I can call people it's like you have to have that just like going to the beginning of our conversation, pouring into people. Yeah. Like you pour into people, it, it comes back to you. Yeah. yeah, It really does. Like relationship capital, man. Just being a good person. Relationship equity for sure because through relationships breed resources. Yeah. yeah. Every 100%. job opportunity, yeah. every career, major life changing came from, someone. came from somebody that I knew. Yeah. And somebody else putting me on yeah. or just looking out or knowing yeah. I was the right fit for that. Yeah. yeah for so sure. yeah, everything you need is not just it's coming from those people, those relationships that you build. Build yeah. your village, man. Everyone listening to this, build your village is so important. Like it's it's everything. And be yeah. mindful how you treat people. Yeah. I was just about to say that's what it boils down to. Cause yeah. they ain't calling EJ or Bree or B Simone if you're I'm say effed up messed up person <laughs> or you know Debbie Downer, no energy or you don't treat people right. Like I've gotten a lot of opportunity. Yes, I'm talented. Yes, I work hard. Yes, I grind, but I feel like God has blessed me and people around me have blessed me a lot too because I just have good relationships with yeah, people. Yeah, so yeah. some things I didn't have to audition for. Some things I did, you know, yeah. it's just like, okay, she's great for this job. Call her up. I love her energy. I love her. I love yeah. whatever. You know, that that's a relationship and they know thing. What to How expect. you treat people. Yeah, of yeah. you. Like, I know what to expect when Ernestine shows up. But a couple up. times where Brie and, and B had to check me a little bit because I get snappy sometimes. Yes. <laughs> Brie, it was a couple times on set. Brie we checked her on set. It was, like, it was one time on set where Brie was it, like, I'm trying to learn my lines. Brie was like, DJ, you could have been a little nicer the way you said that to the such and such department. I'm like, well, they need to make sure they're doing their job because yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but again, because both of our names are on it, I'm like, I want them to remember how we made them. I, yeah. I think we'll remember how I made them feel. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like, I know you might not have said you wouldn't have said it nicer, but I would have. <laughs> right. So because my name on it, I need you to I need them to know that we're not all coming at them like that. Right. <laughs> right. I need you to go re say that. Right. Go re say right. that. Right. 
right. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Right. Yeah. What about schedules? All y'all are so busy. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Did, you said 11, 12 days? We did 13, 13 days. days. It was supposed Two to be 12, but we yeah. had to make up a day. So we did 13 how, days. How did, how did we pull that off? We had to commit to it. It was just, literally just like, y'all, these are the dates we have to commit to it. I'm like, B, don't book any shows. Yeah. Don't book yeah. any tours. Yeah. Bree, me and you, we're not going to be auditioning this 13 days. Yeah. Like, 13 days lock in. I mean, it's a lot of money on the line, too. Yeah. So it's and like, we kind of worked around each other's schedule a little bit. Like, me being having to be on air on Saturdays and Sundays. I don't think we Yeah, she didn't work on the weekends. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. of so her radio. We like, okay, we know these are your hard blocks that you can't work. So we're going to make B. Simone shoot all her scenes on no this day. day. Yeah. 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 So we kind of worked around it. But again, it was commitment. Yeah, yeah the first cool. AD, the assistant director came up with the schedule and it's like, <laughs> you know, we can't work these two days. So, okay, make sure we shoot her out these days. B. Simone can't work these days. Jackie can't. So it's just like, you just schedule it. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Were there any like non-negotiables that you guys thought about in terms of like scene stuff? I don't know. Was there like a love scene or I didn't want to, I don't want to do this or I do want to do that. Was there any requests like that at all? Listen, if I was going to teach you how to make a million dollars, would you give me 10,000? Like if I had a course teach you how to make a million dollars and you're po- positive, you're going to make a million dollars. Would you give me 10000 Of course you would. It's no-brainer, right? So in a calendar year, we make seven figures with the podcast. But there's 21 things that I extracted from that that you're going to need to launch a podcast. But I only got time to give you three right now. One is you need a distribution platform. The distribution platform is what you upload your podcast to. That platform sends it to Spotify, Apple, Google Play, so that your supporters can actually listen to your podcast. You're also going to need a microphone. You need a really good microphone so it's crispy audio. And three, you need an income strategy. This is not necessarily a hobby, unless you're going to make it a hobby. But I can teach you how I made the seven figures with these 21 things. Now, the good news is you don't have to give me 10,000. My ebook is only 37 bucks, okay? So listen, go to podcastebook.com and get the 21 things that you need. And I I can explain it in detail, all the things that you need, okay? Podcastebook.com. Let's get to the episode. No, no, but B. Simone did have a love scene. Uh-huh. Oh, so awkward. <laughs> and I, could, I was like, move. <laughs> no, he was great. Shout out no, to not for this film. Play this is, I mean, this is a, a comedic heist. Yeah, so it's not it wasn't true. anything. But there are non-negotiables we have as actors. I know I do. I have, yeah, for sure. Non-negoti- like, for I'm sure. not assimilating... Um, Felicio on screen. It's things I'm just not yeah, going to do. Yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. yeah sure. And yeah. I think, do you think that changed with your marital status? Because I'm Oh, kinda, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, because now I'm single, so I'm like... She's like I do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, my husband, my husband, I'm back outside. She's not right? right? single. Yeah. I'm going to be a camera. First off, I'm single. First off, I'm single. Mason Mo, Marie Renee, single. We living in Atlanta. Okay. We young. We Aries. <laughs> we got fearing. We know? got fearing. We love the Lord. Yeah, and we love the Lord. Ain't got no kids, man. Good catches. <laughs> no, but, um, Definitely good catches. Right. I have a few non-negotiables, but I'm a little bit more free and fluid yeah. with mine. Like, I will Free's stimulate. Definitely more free. Yeah. yeah, I'm just not... I, mine just recently got to be... Because, like, the last couple of things I was doing, they kept looking me to be the stripper. Yeah. And I'm like, I could be something I else. I saw one, too. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to rewind it, but you know, I, like, I know. I think you called me. I think you called me. You're was like, that, that was Bree? that Bree? Yeah. Because <laughs> Bree got that look. She a little sexy, yeah. sexy, and she yes. got the shape. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's nothing against dancers because I do yeah. feel like those stories need to be told too. But For sure. I just don't always want to be the one you that call girl. you want to see her in a thong. Okay? Right, 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 right. Let right, 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 right. some of my clothes right. on. From- <laughs> Put me in a suit. My husband yes. wasn't, is not going for it anyway. He's like, these are the things I'm comfortable with. Yeah. These are the things I'm not yeah. comfortable and with. And that's, that's actually part of the reason why I wanted to be a part of this movie and create this something like this because I wanted to show people I'm not just a vixen. Let, I could be a baddie. Let I me mean, tell a, y'all, a Breeze... Yeah role in this movie yeah. she blew she a thing. lot of people's minds she blew yeah. my mind she Bree, look at her now yeah. she was gangsta she was, she was gangsta. so good yeah, yeah. What? I'm hood right? <laughs> it's in her but. Let, let, let's start with that I want to know like tell us about your character but tell me what part of your character is you in real life mm. Mm. so in real life I am super impulsive but tell, tell them about the character. Okay. So, so, yeah. so Sam is who I play in this film. She is down on her luck. She is the friend that feel, you know, you got that one friend that just feel like it's me against the world. Mm-hmm. Nobody on my side. Always. I don't have nobody. You know, that that person who just keeps running dark into- Dark cloud. <laughs> yeah, Literally. Dark cloud. Keeps running into like it, trouble after trouble and definitely doesn't have any family to, to support her or fall back on. Her friends are all she has. Yeah. And so um, she goes to her friends like, hey, I'm down on my 
down. Look, I owe these guys some money. I'm in some some trouble in the streets and I need y'all to help me pull together this heist. So that's how we all come back together yeah. as a group of friends to pull off the scheme yeah. gotcha. um, in the movie. But Sam and, and Bree, what we have in common is we're both impulsive. Mm-hmm. I'm an Aries. I definitely do before act before I think sometimes. Mm-hmm. And that's what Sam is in the movie. She's super impulsive. And, and I, I do like a little credit for my ideas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because in the movie, Sam yeah. kept saying, I need everybody to know this is my idea. Yeah. This is my plan. And it's I like, do, okay, Brie, you came up with that. We yeah, yeah. Come on. We get it. <laughs> but yeah, I do. I think I definitely needed that um, as well. But I have a lot of family. And I do look at my friends as family. Yeah. So in this movie, yeah. Sam really yeah. relies on her friends as family. Even though I do have a really great relationship with my mom and with my family, I do look at my, I, I feel like friends are the family you choose. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So I do yeah. um, rely on them a lot. So that's one thing that, those are a few things that we got. Yeah. Like was there, what, what was the toughest part about the character? Was there, was there any part where yes. you just couldn't get it right? Ooh, mm. I felt like you worked really hard on I that. Worked Brie. So hard she worked so hard because she was so sad. Yeah, and you know me, David. I'm like, yeah, hey, right. I'm like so bubbly. And uh, even when I am going through stuff, like people will never know, never know, yeah. never. never know. And so, <laughs> it, to have to wear that trauma all day, every day was a lot for those mm. twelve days. I really I felt like I needed therapy after this because I was yeah. just yeah. sad. I created a. I went through real like, intensive acting coaching for this role because I knew like if you are trying to break out and do something different you gotta kill it yeah. you have you to. can't be begging to be uh, a gangster and then be soft like yeah. you know what I mean sure. you gotta come hardcore with it so I trained with my acting coach shout out to KB for almost eight hours a day yeah. for like a week wow. straight yeah. yeah. prior to I would be like yeah. I can't I was like she was Zoom. training she was training I was training even training, when like, they yo cut like we talking to her like but I'm eating my food and stuff. She's like, I'm like, well, she's Sam right now. <laughs> don't talk, don't talk to her. Yeah. Yeah, but she was yeah. like in it. Yeah. That method acting is real. Yeah, like, I couldn't like go out of it and go back in it so fast. So I definitely stay in Sam for a couple weeks. And then I even, all the way down, I still have a playlist on iTunes. Like mm-hmm. the music that I would listen to. She created a whole way. playlist for her character. Sam, I would listen to it. Like it's full of NBA young boy, Rod right, Wayne. Right, right, right. Rah, 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 yeah. Shoot him up, bang, bang. Yeah, that's <laughs> sad. That's right. sad. Depressed gangster. Gangster. Yeah, so I have like a whole playlist of that. So you yeah. feel like it was hard to get out of that. It was, it was, and so sometimes I feel like I still carried it, carry her with me a little bit. Mm. It's weird mm. now since then because yeah. I, I definitely used to let things roll off my shoulder way more. Yeah. Um, but now I feel like like I nah, mean, Sam wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> relax, relax. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we've heard stories of actors that um, that prepare for a role. Oh and my god, out, right? yeah. Sometimes yeah. they go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's Plenty. downward spiral. Yeah. Like Plenty. they go, they method they, acting, they lose their real. mind in the roles, especially it's when gone. those movies take months to film mm-hmm. you take on a whole different person for, for months? months yeah I just oh did it for tw- 12, 13 days. Yeah. And it was hard. Yeah. It took me like two weeks, a uh, yeah. equal amount of time. Yeah, to but get imagine out. you're shooting those big blockbuster films. They're yeah. filming for months. 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 Sometimes months. six, seven months they're filming yeah. and you're in this character you're living with. And then the movie's over. You have to go home to your regular life and you're like, oh my God, I'm still living you in this. You try to become that person that I've been yeah. for seven months. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. yeah. It's like you ever heard old people say, you lie so much, you starting to believe it. Yeah. 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 That's what it is. You done created <laughs> this life in your, in your head, head that you really believe it. I really started to yeah. feel like nobody was there for me. Mm. It's like, girl, you got a whole heap of friends. <laughs> yeah, a whole heap, whole heap of friends. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. It seems like acting is dangerous. It is. It can be. It, it can be. It, it is. Can be. Especially the greats, like yeah. people like that. Like I learned so much from them because this was like my first time stepping into the acting world mm. to this capacity. EJ's like, what's your backstory? Who's your character? Where's she from? I'm like, was that in the script? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this been from. I'm, just, I'm on page three. You, you know, she's like, no, you need to create this. Like, who is Lauren? Like, like does she have a favorite parents? color? Does, does she have kids? Yeah. Like, does like, she come you, to a parent household? Like, yes. you gotta build her so to a real she's person. Sad, why is she sad? Oh, her parents are divorced. They divorced when she was seven. That, like, you create a yeah. backstory for your character. Mm. So when you're in front of the camera, why is she making these decisions? Yeah. It goes down to that. Like, yeah. cause none of us make decisions just based off. There's a happening. reason. Yeah, every decision reacting. you make, you're yeah. reacting for a certain reason. Yeah. So, like Sam, she's been abandoned. Her mom's been abandoning her for dudes her whole life. She never had anybody she could depend on. And this isn't in the script. This yeah. is right, what right. she made up this about Sam. What I did backwards. Dang. Yeah, to become her in front of Ooh. the camera. Okay, so uh, Ernestine, 
your character. Describe your character. Oh, I love Audra. Oh, so I love my character. Her name yeah. is Audra. She is a, a nerd. She she creates NFTs. She's like super into tech. She's a tech geek, but she's also really into her church and into God. She's, mm-hmm. So she's like super into her spirituality, but also she's met with this like nerdy, quirky yeah. personality. She's the brains of the group. She's the one that like keeps the plan together and thinks ahead and thinks of a plan B and C if plan A doesn't work. Um, so yeah, she's a geek. She's yeah. the spiritual geek of the group. She kind of like leads the group through the movie on how we're maneuvering, what our plan yeah. is, and how we're going to plot this big scheme. What What about you is like that character? And then I want to know like the preparation for it. Yeah, well, I would say me and Audra had a lot in common. I, I too am a bit of a nerd. Um, I, I am, I'm always plotting and always planning, always yeah. like, okay, let's do plan A. Plan A doesn't work. We're going to do plan B. Plan B doesn't work. We're going to do plan C. Yeah. So I feel like her intelligentsia is definitely something that I had in common with her. Um, what we didn't have in common, I gave her this. So that our director, Cass Seegers, she was like, when we see you, we always see you in powerful roles. You're either the attorney or the CEO or like some position of power. She's like, I want you to transform. So like she had this wig and she had bangs and she had glasses. Mm-hmm. And I gave her this like little voice where she kind of like talked through her. She kind of like talked through her tongue a little bit. So, you know what I mean? Like I gave her like <laughs> little <laughs> nerdy, <laughs> this little nerdy little nuance um, just to make her a character. So mm-hmm. she was probably the most caricature of the group yeah. um, character actor. Yeah. 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 Another, thing, another thing they got in common too. She's the thread, like she said, the thread, the keeping everything together. That's who she is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Planning all of this. Yeah. Always yeah. planning. Yeah. 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 She's there for an That core, like, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I'm always like, hey, guys, be there at three o'clock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> She's like, hey, guys, we have a hard lunch date lately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are we doing this month? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and how, how did you prepare to not pre- let Ernestine come out as the powerful Ernestine that you are? You know what's crazy? I wish I had more time to prepare, but because I was a producer, I was producing and acting, Mm -hmm. which I wish I would have had more time to just dive into my character. Mm -hmm. I was like literally on set in between takes producing, like stuff was happening with the locations or this person fell out and like we are, we lost our wardrobe person. So I'm like in between takes shooting out texts, trying to produce. So I I actually wish I would have had more time to Mm -hmm. dive into the character. So you killed it though. Because I understand the stress of it and going into it, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to produce with you guys. And then halfway through, I'm like, we oh, start backing up. <laughs> Listen, whatever shot they get, they get. I'm trying to learn this line. <laughs> yo, if backing out was a person, yo, being being be, be like, you, you got it, y'all got it. Yeah, we, go, we, go, we need to focus I, on these I lines. I learned that about myself through this. <laughs> I am not a minute detail person. I'm the big picture person. <laughs> but that's why we work so well together. Because yeah. Ernestine is going to pay attention to all Every that. I'm like, little I don't care detail. what shoes he had on in that scene. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the thing above Yeah, the zoom in. Zoom <laughs> in. Zoom <laughs> in. This is a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So B, your character, first off, managing yeah. your schedule and all the stuff you got going on. And everybody has a lot going on, but like yeah. people are pulling at you yeah. on a whole nother level. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was going on in your world during this time? Well, I was super busy as all of us were. I made the time for it, but I my biggest regret is not taking this as serious from day one. Mm-hmm. Cause I, I'm always in, like with my friends, but like really honing in and being like realizing what we were doing, the mm-hmm. capacity of it until later, you know, mm-hmm. like, so that is my biggest regret with this movie. Like, when did you realize it? When were you like, oh, wait, we, we're making a real movie. Well, no, I knew we were <laughs> making a real movie. There were several times where B's like, oh, we're making, this is a movie. We're doing a movie. But <laughs> I, I knew we were making, like, I, when I gave them that money, I knew we was making a movie. <laughs> but I'm very, um, I depend on my gift a lot. Mm. and I don't hone in on the skill of things sometimes. Mm. There's a difference. God gave me a gift. I got it. I can kind of sway. I can move and shake like in a lot of stuff, but there's a difference between having a gift. I'm going to show up. I'm going to know these lines and the skill of acting Mm. what these two did, right? So, But you still did a phenomenal job. No, for sure. (laughs) But I I noticed day two when y'all was (laughs) was over there. I was like, oh, they really trying to act. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know, like I was like, Brie was taking calls with her acting coach. Like, I'm shooting this scene next. Like, how should I say this? How should I do this? Like, during breaks, I'm chopping it up. I'm like, what y'all want to do? Y'all want to go to dinner tonight? Brie's like, I'm Sam. Like, yeah. what, like, don't talk to me right now. You know. Yeah. So, uh, pr- perfecting the craft, and you know, that was probably my biggest regret: not taking it so 
serious up mm-hmm. front. Like mm-hmm. watching them really inspired me. Like mm-hmm. this is a skill. Like, yes, we have God given gifts that we're born with. Mm-hmm. Right. But to hone in on the skill of acting like that is something you can learn and you have to spend time doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. But you still killed it for even. Thank I mean, you. you really did. Yeah. Lauren is like yeah. people expected to see B. Simone. Yeah. And when and you I, guys when you guys watch the movie, you'll see she's not playing B. Simone. She's yeah. actually she playing wasn't the comedic relief. She wasn't the movie. comedic relief. It was Jackie. It was Jackie, it was Jackie. who did yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. 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 Shout out to she Jackie. Really she sure. Shout out yeah. to Zoe. She's that my is, favorite character. Yeah. This yeah. was yeah. mine too. You and I was like, I think Zoe's my favorite. Zoe's yeah. definitely yeah. my favorite. Yeah. Just, yeah. She's just so always funny. my favorite character. Killed it. But so, Lauren is fun. We have a lot in common as far as like, she's on social media. Mm-hmm. She wants to be an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think she's not as forgiving as me. I'm very like, oh, you messed up. Like, you're human mm-hmm. in real life. Lauren's like, I'm not fucking with Sam. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I'm not messing with Sam. <laughs> um, you know, Lauren was we like, no, we were beefing in the movie. I'm very opposite of that. I'm like, right. oh, okay. You slept with my man. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> God forgives. <laughs> Jesus what? I'm very, you know, I have boundaries now, but I'm kidding. But I'm very forgiving. Lauren isn't. She's like, we don't mess with Sam. I'm not doing it. But once all her girls came together, yeah. she was like, you know what? Okay, if my girls are doing it, I'm going to do it. So I'm very much well, like that. Like, it. And what's yeah, crazy is, I needed you. I needed you. Even though it's a comedy, it's like even hearing you say that, like it's really a story of friendship. It it, is. It's no, about how 100%. you show up for your yeah. friends 100%. in the time of need mm-hmm. and loyalty. Like yeah, at the loyalty. End, everybody think like trust. Sam wasn't trusting it. And at the end, you really see like, we ride for each other. Yeah. Like, you got to question Lauren throughout the whole movie. You got to watch it. Gotta watch but the movie. it's like, <laughs> yo, like, you really have to build that with your friends, yeah. that loyalty. Yeah. Like, it's, it's about friendship. It, it, was right. a, it was like a, a, there was a very real element of, like, the different personalities of friends. Like, it's crazy. Yo, it, it was so real. I'm like, yo, this is a real group of friends. because yeah. Everybody's different. But, like, we all come together because we're all in a situation. Yes. And we're handling it differently. And mm-hmm. somebody has to take role, take the lead. That's what it was. But yeah, we're all we're fun. all in it for this common goal. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out exactly. to Cass's writing, too, because yeah. the twist and the turn. The twist was crazy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yay, good. Oh, is it going to be a part two? Because at the end, there's <laughs> a lot of Gotta watch yeah. the movie. Yeah. to know what's coming next. <laughs> Okay. Exactly. All right. So, um, one after the movie's done, yes, you it doesn't seem like you can't really enjoy the movie while you're acting in it, right? So when you watch it for the first time, is it a whole oh, other experience? Oh wild. my gosh, it's yes. wild. Oh, we talked about it after oh. the. So we screened it twice. We screened it's it wild. at ABFF in Miami, mm-hmm. American Black Film Festival. But we watched it first, me, Jackie, and Ernestine. Oh, yeah, watched we watched it at, it at my house, house I never first. watched it. Well, when okay. we watched it the first time, I'm like, I don't think Bree I want to like, put this well, out. Well, yeah, when well, we watched like it the this. first time, uh-huh. well, because it wasn't, well, it wasn't colored. It wasn't all the way edited. Well, yet. even as a creative, you're super critical Picky, of yourself. Yeah. The first time I saw it what? at ABFF, I was like, I was in the movie and I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Really? But once the yes. final edit was done, the final yeah. coloring and music and sound and everything, and we watched it together at Atlantic Station the other day, like we were all like, wow, the we second did, time we did that. that. Hold on, was that the first time you saw? Hold on, hold on. Okay. When you you saw it at ABFF? Yes. yes. Okay. A ABFF. festival. We screened it there in Miami. Yes. Gotcha. You saw it. Mm-hmm. The one that I saw at Atlantic Station? Is that, that was the exact fine? same movie. It was the exact same movie, but I same. don't know why it felt different. Because, because we, we weren't... Wow. We were, I think we were watching it more from a consumer. Yeah. yeah. Like, That's why. The first time I saw it, I was like, we putting this out? Yeah. Like, and then I watched it again. I was like, this is really good. I think the first time you watch it, you're like, look at that tree. Look at that bush. Look at like you're watching it. Yeah. Because you're, you're, credit, you're, you're, you're critical. critical. Yeah. Because you put your money up for it. You put your time you're not on just the line watching for it. it as a consumer. Right. So the first time when we watched it on your couch, I I literally cried in the car. <laughs> on the way. Did you? Yes. I didn't know that. I was like, I spent all this money. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I spent all this money on this. <laughs> this is how it looks. People are going to go home. No one's going to want to hire me ever again. <laughs> yeah. Very yes. yes. I I, know, right? yeah. I called you and I was like, friend, I don't, don't like, like it. How do you, yeah. I, like, I don't like it. What? I felt like I, that when I first saw it. Yeah. I did not feel like that. Unbelievable. Yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't, well, mine wasn't about the editing or the coloring. I know you think that's what it was. It was my Oh, acting. yeah, it was the acting. I do remember that. I yeah. felt like she needed more levels. What? Like, you I gave every it. level. She that, killed it. Yeah. Oh, no, my you God. She killed, killed it. But I just felt like I spent all this time. I was supposed to be like Denzel up there. I just... 
<laughs> swear. So again, but coming from a creative side, like you're way more critical. It's like a, yeah. a painter. A painter yeah. never feels like their their artwork is done. Yeah. 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 You want to add this. You want to add this. You got to yeah. add this. So it wasn't until after ABFF I started to come like, around. Okay. I'm like, okay, but the third I was third sold at Atlantic Station. Was at Atlantic Station. And Atlanta, when I, when, yeah. I think it was something different about watching with all of our friends and family too. Like, and yeah. Miami was cool, but when we watched it here in the city, our city that we live in, yeah. so many supporters and our friends were there and like just seeing everyone's reaction, we were like, oh my God, guys, we did a real movie. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, cool. in, in the theater, it was like a, I don't know, it was like a chill as I'm watching. I'm saying, yo, this is, this is not like this little, in my head, when Ernstine says, y'all about to put a movie together, I've seen short films before. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I've been at Greenlit. You know, right. people shoot a little film and everybody <laughs> claps and it's all good. Yeah. I was like, that ain't this. No. This is a real this movie. This is a real That's feature the film. That's critique I got from everybody. Response yeah. was yeah. like, this was way better than I knew. Everyone, yeah. I feel like I everyone was disrespecting said, it at some point. Everyone, like, everyone, like, everyone said I, that same thing. Yeah. I, they were like, I'm going to be honest with you, Queen. I didn't expect it to be that. I had yeah. lower expectations. Yeah. And I'm like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> How yeah. I'm like, well, I ain't sure because I did too. You know, you know for sure. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. like taking it serious. Oh my gosh. Just for so, the record, I would say I never, I always thought it was going to be a big deal. Just want to put that out there. I always thought it was going to be a big deal. Always from the very beginning. Yeah. I told yeah. Cass this too. I'm like, this is going to lead to something bigger than we even can imagine. Like, e and even though the movie's about to come out, you guys will all get to watch it and it's going to be great. But this is just the beginning. Like, yeah. I don't know where this it's, is going. It's a seed being but planted. It's a seed. Yeah. And I felt it from the very, very, like, when I was like, we're doing this, I'm like, okay, this is a seed. It's going to be something amazing. And that's why yeah. you got to have friends like that. Yeah. That yeah, believe sure. in when you don't yeah. believe. Because again, and, we I'm thought sorry, it was go gonna, ahead. No, we thought yeah. it was going to be like, uh, something, like <laughs> yeah. you said, we shooting on our iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> and I seen it and I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. But Ernestine <laughs> always did believe and fought for it. Yeah. Trust in the visionary. Like, mm -hmm. we're all different visionaries yeah. at certain points. Just yeah. trust the visionary. I don't have to see the vision, but I trust her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that trust factor for me. Mm -hmm. Like that trust is important. We talked about that in the car. Like yeah. I don't have to see your vision, but I trust you. <laughs> yeah. So if you see it, I'm going to plant a seed in your vision and let yeah. it, yeah. you know, move. Yeah. Wow. I, I, yeah. I, I guess when you're watching it after you're in it, in your head, it probably went a different way. And when you see it on the screen, yeah. you're comparing it to something else. That's yeah. Yeah. And you I can't even watch it. the movie because you're watching you yeah. and your mannerisms. Yeah. You're probably missing stuff about the movie yeah. because yeah. you're focused on something different. But Brie killed I, it though, man. I, like, I could have so sworn I cried. Real tears. <laughs> 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 you're like, I felt like I was crying. I felt like I was crying and, like I was crying and there's no <laughs> tears coming out of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Where is my Oscar? <laughs> I, was, I mean, when you were gonna shoot me, I'm like, was I like? I thought I cried in that scene. Like, they not turned up. You turned up. Here's a little tear. Well, I tear. Why didn't it fall? <laughs> <laughs> you thought you didn't zelled it? I was like, oh, that was horrible. You thought you had the glory too? <laughs> I, did. I did. I was sad. So after the movies, like after the movies done, uh -huh. what do you do with it now? I mean, like, I mean, we're we're going through the process, mm -hmm, but people mm -hmm. after you have it. And they send it to you, say, hey, this is the final version. Where do we go? Oh, you mean after the final, like, it's after colored, it's yeah. edited. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so once you get the final product where it's colored, it's edited, you have the music, you've got your captions and your titles and all that. Um, now it's time to get your money back. It's and time. Promote. It's time to either... You're taking meetings for a distribution deal. Try to shop it. You're shopping it. Yeah. Like film so, festivals. literally, that's what we've been doing. You go film festivals. So we did the film festival route. We, we were official selection at ABFF. Explain the film festival. The people that put you in the film festival, do they see the movie first? So what what happens in a film festival is you submit to film festivals, mm -hmm. and you actually have to pay like a submission fee. Mm -hmm. And some people like submit to hundreds of film festivals, and you may not get chosen for one. And we got chosen for ABFF. How much is a film festival to submit? Different prices, that. different. It's different prices for different film festivals. What's the range? Um, anywhere from seventy five dollars to maybe a couple hundred. Okay. How, okay. So how do we get chosen though? Because um, now I got that question. How they choose us? <laughs> <laughs> some of it is you just told me some of it's personal connections. Right, right, right. Some of it is networking. Some of it's personal <laughs> connections. Remember we talked about the friendships. friendships. Yeah, friendships. Yeah, for sure. A couple phone calls. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. But for the most part, yeah, you submit to film festivals online like everybody else. You do a submission process. You put in your application and they choose who, who they like. Um, and we were fortunate enough to get yeah. chosen at ABFF. And we're, we're all big influencers too. So yeah. a film and festival like, would want to If you have a house, movie with Brie Renee and B. Simone and Jackie O yeah. and written and directed by Cass Seegers, like a film festival wants you at their film festival. Right. Because you know I mean? you're going to be promoting their film festival mm -hmm. and bringing there. So that's how that you would sense. get selected too. You want to have some star power, a little bit, you know, Hollywood names yeah. in yeah. your film if you can to bring in that extra. And the goal of going to a film festival is to get your film sold. So a lot of buyers are at film festivals and they're looking to buy 
your product. So if you happen to get lucky to sell your film at a film festival, great. And if not, you may leave from the film festival. You may have made some great contacts and you may not have got a buyer. So then now you're back to shopping it. You're taking meetings. You're calling people. You're sending emails. Hey, I've got this film. Mm -hmm. And you're just, you know, again, it's all relationships. We were able to just to call so many different people um, and take meetings. Yeah. So we took you can put it out independently. You, you, you can put it out independently. You yeah. can put it on Tubi. You can put it on Amazon You Prime. can make a website. You can make a website. Yeah. for $9 and, and yeah, buy, buy tickets. it on your website. Yeah. Did we discuss that? After the movie, like between y'all, like what route are we going? Yeah, we discussed we it before, beforehand. But, yeah. Yeah. yeah, what do we want to do? We with discussed it? it before, doing and after. Yeah. We still, discuss- <laughs> we still yeah. discuss it. And yeah. how did we decide on the sell independently? Because it seems like y'all can make a quick million with all y'all. Yes. So we decided when we do our movie. Okay. Just know. Because we are doing a movie. movie. We're, oh, We're doing it. What? We're, it's done. I, because in my mind, I'm entrepreneuring. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> if I have a $3, $4 product, we're just going to sell thousands of them joints. For sure. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, why, why the film festival route versus all y'all influences? Yeah. We just sell it. Well, I'll let them answer for them. For me, personally, as an um, emerging filmmaker, um, I'm really, really like my company, Greenlit ATL, like it's going to be a global media company. So for me, it was more so, yeah, we can sell it, we can make money, but I also want the PR. I want the PR because I know where my company, Greenlit, is going. So for me personally, I was like, yeah, we can do it independent. We can put it on 2B or one of these. But like, I want to align with a, a, another a platform, network, a platform. A network mm-hmm. because it's the PR for me and where I see my company going. Got so, it. Got that's it. continuous building relationships too, having it on a platform and them seeing what we can do and be like, okay, mm-hmm. we can do this on a bigger scale. Okay, mm-hmm. maybe we want to invest in part two. Maybe yeah. we want to shoot part two for y'all. Right. Or, you know. It, yeah. In the vein, in the vein of create, don't wait, it's like I'm gonna create it and I'm gonna make you guys come to me. Gotcha. I like that. Facts. I like that. And for me, it was like as an actress, I wanted to showcase what I really could do on a bigger platform. Like you said, with these major networks, I want them to see. I want mm-hmm. them to be like, dang, we've been passing up on her auditions and she out here yeah. making movies. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, and I, and uh, again, I have like nine other ideas in my head that I want to create full yeah. movies for. So I'm mm-hmm. like, this is just the beginning. So if I can get this one off the ground running with networks already, my first film that I EP'd out the gate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then the other ones, other I got other people wanting to knock down my door. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. So when you like, let's say somebody buys the movie. Mm-hmm. Is it like... Um, we, got, we got five offers. Five. 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 Five offers. Mm-hmm. That does not happen either. Okay, we already got so, our money so, back. <laughs> so, okay, so tell me. Talk tell spicy, me. talk spicy. Yes, 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 yes. So, okay, they're trying to... Who are the offers from? <laughs> yeah, look at that. No whisper on the mic. Uh, major <laughs> networks. Major. So we networks. got... We actually got five major offers from different people. Are you able to say the... Not yet, mm-hmm. but November 10th. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on November 10th, it's going to be produced through that the person who actually won the bid. No, so, no, no. So there's no. So, so there's two different things that we did that we decided to do as a group. So we are going the route where you can um, purchase our product. Okay. You can purchase our movie okay. one day only. We're doing a 24 hour. 24 hours. You can pay it only on this day, November 10th. Mm. After November 10th, it's then going to the network. platform. Yeah, the platform, the platform that, that the platform that we ended, that we pay, landed on. Yes, pay us up front, and they're like, "We want your movie for this amount." So I got and for bread. this y'all amount of time, yeah. yeah, this amount of time, they get exclusive rights to a licensing yeah. deal, basically. Yeah. yeah, hold on. So that what the twenty four hours, do y'all get to eat that? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Yeah. So y'all double dip it. Double dip Double down. Oh, hey, don't God. wait. You don't have to bet on yourself. You don't know our friend for no reason. Oh, my God. Yeah. This, was that, how, who negotiated that? Like, because if, if I'm going to buy the movie, like, y'all ain't <laughs> selling it. Give it to me. I make all the money off of it. Who, what yeah. the hell? How did that It was a team. It was a team. It was a team effort. Um, our sales agent that we worked with between myself and Cass, our yeah. director and the girls, we all kind of deliberated and talked about the strategy and we were like, this is the strategy we want to do. We want to kind of go with both. We want to better on ourselves and we also want to align with an amazing platform. Yeah. yeah. And we were, you know, by so God's you know, grace, you we were able to do both. Everything. Oh yeah. Gosh. It's a blessing. Yeah. That's crazy. It actually really is a blessing. It like, really is. First of all, to even get a movie done is a blessing. Because yeah. most right. people, you, you think about it, you never do it. Or first you start all, it and before, you can't finish, before right? Before that, yeah. to even have an idea and try to 
it execute it. Yeah. Right. There's yeah. so many ideas that people have that y'all never, never even see the light of day. Try. Yeah. This y'all got be million, a billion dollar yeah. ideas. Yeah. 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 This was the idea, but I'm like, oh, just to even that. execute an idea. <laughs> I just commend us for doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just coming together, executing it. But, and, and for our, our, the other filmmakers out there, like, we know how hard it is to make a film. It's extremely hard. Like anyone who wants to make a film, I think it's glamorous. It's not. It's very hard. The whole time is strenuous. Oh, but then when you get it done, you put in all this work, time, effort, resources, and money, and you don't know if anyone will ever see it. Ever. Mm. Most people, they have movies that no one are ever going to see. You'll, they'll never see the light of day. Yeah. Like it's sitting on your shelf somewhere and no one's ever going to see it, but your, your mom and your dad, a little watch party you had in your living room. Wow. But we're so blessed to not, not have one offer, not two offers, but five offers and still be able to have some type of creative control where we're able to still put it out on a, on an independent platform yeah. for 24 hours. So like, I just commend us for like yeah. out the gate, our first movie together, like getting it sold. Yeah. That is a huge deal. A huge deal. I know filmmakers oh who've been in the game decades who never got, never got anything sold. Never got a distribution deal. Mm. And getting our money back. Yeah. <laughs> We're calling broke yeah. now, mom. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Got it all back. So when yeah. I call you for part two, Dave, the it's next up. movie, he said yes, because he didn't believe the first time. No, no, I'm just I, I think it was the <laughs> idea. Huh? It's, it's, it's okay. I put up my money and I was still half assing. So <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You know, it's sometimes you got to see it to believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Oh my right. gosh. So do you already have like the next movie that you guys want to put together? Or are y'all still just kind of basking in what we got going on right now? We're basking in what we have going on. But we do have we have so many ideas coming <laughs> out. We do have something else that we're putting on the calendar for yeah. quarter one. Yeah, that you guys will all know about. What do you think the budget's going to be this time? We want a million bigger. Um, we're not doing it. We're not. We're not, not doing for anything less yet. than a million. No, we're not doing that again. Mm. For our next film, we want a million. We, we're doing a million dollar budget. Yeah, same at the team. least. That's the least. Yeah, same team. Majority of yeah. the same team. Mm -hmm. I would probably add in like some more behind the scenes crew. Yeah, that we um want to work with yeah. we also want to give like new filmmakers and new you know dope people yeah, yeah. first time opportunity yeah it was a lot of people's first time on our set it was their first time opportunity in a movie yeah, yeah. Like a lot of a lot of the crew was it was their first time so we're intentional yeah. about bringing up emerging filmmakers yeah this is awesome and it was 90 percent women like what do you mean like it? from from writing from oh from the yeah from yes, writing the cast, yeah. cast to even our crew I feel like was mostly women it was a lot of women I guess it was a lot of women but it was a lot of men it was a lot of men too it was but in percentage wise it was yeah more, I think definitely more women more women at least seventy five this is women. written yeah. that's a lot of women written written by a black woman directed by a black woman starring for black le women leads yeah. yeah like yeah funded by black women yeah. yeah. This is this yeah. is phenomenal. You see that, especially in Hollywood. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. this is mm -hmm. phenomenal, man. Thank I am you. I am so proud of y'all, man. Um, Thank you. Is there anything we didn't cover? We covered a lot. I feel like we covered a lot, but did we? Yeah, we definitely definitely wanted to make sure we shout out our Jackie. other scheme queen, yeah. Jackie, yeah. Yeah. Miss Jackie, Jackie O, who couldn't make it who today, but Zoe. she plays Zoe. Her character she is phenomenal. phenomenal. Yeah. And might I add that she was in her first well almost out of her first trimester she was pregnant the whole time filming the whole time pregnant wow. yeah literally and we all know the first no, trimester is the worst and she was we what? probably were to her <laughs> <laughs> well she probably didn't I know my yeah. wife pregnant I know how irritating I am for her. Yeah. <laughs> so I just commend her know. for putting in those long yeah. hours being away yeah. from her two children that she already had didn't complain once yeah, and never, never complained yeah. smile on her face every day not on even time, one time, punctual. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably first to set. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's a shout out, Jackie. Shout out our amazing writer, um, director, Cass Seegers, Beatles, my yeah. big sis. Yes. Um. So we're excited for everyone. Shout to out to our TV. other EPs because we couldn't have did it without y'all. Yeah. Everybody, Wilson, everybody. Yes. Good, good, good. Yeah. And shout out to the Lapo too. Not only for putting up money, but he actually gave us a lot of locations. Locations. Yeah, we shot mo a lot of the film at his house, his bar. Mm -hmm. Shout out mm -hmm. to the Havana Cigar Lounge and and um, cool. Sandy Springs. But yeah. Yeah. That's village. Big. Doesn't say it's wow. a village. If y'all need a club scene, I got a little club a little scene. Situation. I'm going to show y'all okay. the little. Okay. Yeah. 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 I got y'all. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, nah, but thank y'all so much for coming. No, and uh, you make for sure everybody us. supports. Y'all going to watch it, right? Yeah. Y'all yes. yes. need to buy it. 
on the buy day it. it drops. Schemequeens.com. So, Please go to schemequeens.com and buy this film November 10th. Watch it with your friends, your family. Share it. Post about yes. it. Talk about it. Hashtag yes. Scheme Queens. And it's cheaper than going to the movies because, you know, going to the movies costs like $100 these days. You got to go to the movies. Is it? You got to spend gas. Right. You got to pull up. You got to get $100 snacks. Y'all could just have snacks at the house. Right. You got to sneak them in your living room. Right. 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 So So they they can just download it and watch it at their house. Yes. November 10th only. One day only. November 10th. November 10th. One day only. Are y'all going to do anything in person? We'll probably go live or or something. We'll do Um, a live on November 10th after the... Yeah, yeah. It, I think it airs at a certain time. Once you guys go to the website, you'll see. But it airs at a certain time, and then after we'll go live and do like a live virtual Q and A situation. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Oh but God. we can't do something live. Here. You want to do something here? Do here? Oh, do it here? Do it here? Do it here? Do it here? Like, a, like I don't know. Maybe like you have to buy the ticket, but then it's like a ticket where it's like an intimate. I think you could probably get maybe 50, 60 people there. Or oh, like that's that. cool. Yeah. Oh, like Let's a, do it. Let's like do if you live in Atlanta, you could come watch yeah, it with yeah, us. Yeah, for sure. For that's sure. I'll offer up the venue. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So please, please. I'm so impressed. I am Thank so you. impressed. Y'all don't know. Like to have an idea, and this was a while ago when she was talking about it. Yeah. And to actually see it come together. It's crazy. It's, it's wild. It's inspirational. Thank yep. you. So um, and I, I'll, I'll, before yes. you go, I just want to truly say if there's any single men, I know you guys are watching. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> We both are looking. Both there are, are beautiful single. black men that watch the Social Proof podcast. DM me. <laughs> <laughs> Slide them DM. I'm well, not kidding. I'm, <laughs> so but serious. seriously. But seriously. <laughs> but I do, on a serious note, I do want to say thank you to my fellow scheme queens, yes. to Jackie, to B, to Bree, because it's just not often that you can do business at a high level with your friends yeah. and your peers. And like, yeah. it didn't feel like going to work. We were having fun every day on set. Mm-hmm. I didn't want it to end. I'm like, oh, it's mm-hmm. day 13 already. We, mm-hmm. We're wrapping. Like yeah. we just had so much fun. We shot TikToks on set and we ate and yeah, talked it was and fun. laughed. Yeah. It was really fun. So I'm grateful that we got to do this together. And just for any of the emerging filmmakers who are watching this, actors, creatives, anybody, creatives, like yeah. we believe in the model create, don't wait. Like we love Hollywood. Don't get me wrong, but we can't wait on Hollywood. Like yeah. if you have an idea, if you have a script, you have a movie idea, you have a friend that writes, you have another friend that directs, you have another friend that produces, you have another friend that acts. Get together and shoot your own films. Tell your own stories. Own your own stories. Create your own content. Yeah. Because Hollywood is waiting on us. We, we can't wait on them. They're waiting on us to create and put ourselves in position. Yeah. We have all the ingenuity, creativity, resources, relationships Ideas. to put ourselves mm-hmm. in position. There is no reason we should be waiting in 2022. Yeah. Going into 2023, mm. that script, that book, that podcast, that idea, just do it. Find your village. Find the people that believe in the vision. Sow into the vision and just do it. Yeah, yeah Ernestine, yeah. I want to thank you because had this not been for you, yep. this wouldn't have left. It wouldn't have media. happened. <laughs> it, was, it literally I'm wouldn't happen. It would have been on TikTok. Yeah, it yeah. would have still been there. Thank and you, thank EJ, you for real. And I know it was not easy. Again, trying to wrangle us together mm-hmm. as for you know three scatterbrained <laughs> yeah. social media influencers. Everybody entrepreneurs got doing their own thing. thing. Yeah, but not only that, you have shown me so much, and I've learned oh, so, so much. So much from like just allowing me to ask every question. Yeah, and she don't even get offended. She like let me call you because you text me eight questions. <laughs> she be like, like let me yeah. just call you so yeah. you know, we can all have clarity yeah. here. But just going through this process, I know yeah. it was stressful. You have a whole family, a whole newborn child <laughs> that you could be taking care of and spending, enjoying. Yeah. But you wanted to do this with us. Yeah. And, and, you and we put killed it. Effort. You did it. Yeah. You, you yeah. ran this girl. I yeah. yeah. Thank and thank you, thank David, you. for having us on. Thank you. Oh, nah, yeah. This having is, me this again. Is thank you for man. investing in it. Investing yeah. in us. Supporting it. For believing in us. I think you were the only sponsor. You might have been, I think it was like two sponsors. Two sponsors. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Because everybody else was thinking the same thing. They yeah, really we had like, to sell it. We're like, no, I'm telling you the movie that they're like, here. No, you're right. Mm-hmm. It was several people I called. It was, I, I it was like, well, they were like, oh, yeah, just let me know. Just yeah. Call me back. I, yeah. And I reached out to like people who I know got it. Yeah. And they didn't even yeah. think to give us the 5000 So yeah. for you to reach out and give it to support us, continue. You did the Q&A. Yes. Thank, the, you. Um, Thank you. For that. Yeah. And oh, even man. bring us here. Like, yeah. I, just, I, just, I feel honored to be amongst excellence. I really, I just want, I just want to be able to, uh, first off, I'm going to need y'all for something. So just, <laughs> Anybody with a dream, man, I believe <laughs> it deserves to be supported and applaud. Um, nobody's successful got there by themselves. Yeah, yeah so ever. Yeah, nobody's someone so helped me. It's never someone, self-made. Yeah, absolutely. It so. isn't. 
So I'm close this out with a word of wisdom, y'all. I'm gonna give all y'all a chance to kind of just just close this out, even though Ernestine already went deep. <laughs> but, uh, be yeah, Simone, word um, of wisdom. Start with me. Bring it on. Bring it on back, me. <laughs> If you're single, <laughs> don't give up. No, my word of wisdom, this is, it, it sounds so cliche and so easy and so to the point, but I think the more successful I get, the more mature I get, the older I get, all the cliche, never give up, uh, keep going. All that stuff is like literally it. Like those little quotes that you hear when you were younger. So my biggest thing is be yourself, yeah. you guys. That is what got me to this point. Yeah. That is what got all of us to this point, just truly walking in your truth and being yourself wholeheartedly. And if you don't know who you are, guess what? Find yourself. Yeah. Spend time with yourself. Try new things. You don't know who you are because you're not talking to yourself. I talk to myself in the mirror. Mm. For real. Like, I'd be like, girl, do you even know? <laughs> literally, you know? So <laughs> fall in love with yourself. Be yourself and walk in that. And yeah. as you find yourself, show people who you are. You might not have it all figured out. You might not know everything, but own that, you yeah. know, walk in that truth and, you know, anything you don't like about yourself, change it. Yeah. Change it. And if you can't change it, you embrace it. I love it. Yeah, that's it. There's no more deep for the go. That was, <laughs> no, be yourself. That's no. just the quote. Fact. Yeah, and I would say it. that nothing is by chance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nothing is by chance. I feel like what if God purposely wanted us all to meet each other in those random weird ways mm -hmm. that we were just talking about? For this moment. For this yeah. moment. To talk to this yeah. person that's watching this podcast. To yeah. encourage you know? somebody else out there to chase their dream, to create, not wait. So I think that don't take any of it lightly. Know that relationships, I, I wholeheartedly live by that. Like, that's why I treat everybody with respect and I'm you kind do. to you every do. single person I meet. I don't care what you do. I don't even I don't even ask because yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's about who you are as a person. And I think that will take you so much further. Like I said, from relationships, bleed resources. Resources yeah. flow through relationships. That's how I live my life. That's how every single blessing has come to me. You never know who's watching. They're watching you treat the other person like yeah. that. And they're, they're, I'm looking at that. I look at that. I know other people are. So make sure yeah. you're always treating everybody with the utmost respect. You never know how it's going to all come together lately, yeah. later. And yeah. having people that believe me, if you have an idea, write it down. This yeah. was once an idea that mm -hmm. I had and I wrote it down and look how come it on. continued to matriculate mm -hmm. into this grand idea. So write it down. Get yeah. it out of your yeah, head. Out of your system. Out of your system. And then have people that will pour into you and believe in you and force you to create and not wait. Yeah. yeah. Like, like you, yeah. you never know who's watching because if I see a negative comment on Instagram, even if it ain't towards me, I block that person. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I'm serious. Like, uh, I'm like, you talking negative. Don't I don't even want it. I'm just gonna even, block yeah. you in case you ever come over here. Right. <laughs> so you never know who's watching. Yeah. Be yeah. a good person all around, that's not good. just no towards way. certain people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. And that's, you really are like that, Brie. Like, Brie treats everyone. Everybody. Like, just with such, I really commend you for like, with such respect and just like, you really don't ask. You don't care what people do, who they are. Like, mm -hmm. you really are just such a, like... And, and regardless of the day I'm having. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. you really Ooh, I gotta work on that. <laughs> I'm great. Like, like, nice I'm like, what? 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 Jesus, what? Jesus, what? I'm having a bad day right now. What's your name? Nice because, to meet you. Because I know that... You want a picture? Damn. Like, 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 but, she's like don't you see I'm having a bad day? <laughs> like, I don't want to interrupt you while you're eating what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do. I treat everybody like that regardless of the day I'm working I'm on that. That's a good one, Everybody Bri. has yes. time. Yeah. Everybody And has. you might be coming to me because you having a bad yeah. time. Here I am going to pour more bad on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I gotta check myself with that. I do. Yeah. Amazing. Same here. <laughs> he, he closes out. Man. I will say, um, I think we've said it all, but I think one of the biggest things, and this is, I heard this at a conference once. I can't remember who said it. I hate when I steal people's stuff, but someone said, um, the person's who's the person whose plate is always full is the one who's always serving. And I will say to serve, mm. like yes. to serve. When I tell you, I 100% believe my life is so blessed. Like when I tell you blessings just flow to me abundantly, effortlessly, phone calls out of nowhere, emails out of nowhere. And I think like, I'd be like, God, how did I even get here? And I think it's because I'm always serving. Like, B needs something. I'm serving. Yep. Bree needs yep. something. I'm serving. Oh, oh, I got this opportunity connecting for you. Connecting people. I'm connecting the dots. It's like, even though I'm in front of the camera talent, I'm constantly plugging and playing behind the scenes and serving and pouring in. And I truly believe it's why God has me in the position I'm in. It's because I'm always serving. So if you haven't figured out what it is you want to do in your life or you haven't found your thing, I would just say, I would implore you just to go serve. Serve those around you, serve those amongst you, serve people you don't know and just watch how God just like brings stuff to you effortlessly just from, just from the mindset of serving. I mm -hmm. love it. I love it, man. Listen, we give him a round of applause, please. Yeah. This is amazing. 
There is a. Uh, Thank I just, you guys. It, it was crazy, like while you was talking, and I don't know if it's true or not, but I just like see this 12, 13 year old girl, a young Issa Rae is watching this. Yeah. And I'm saying, yo, I'm going to do it. Yes. I mean, like I see all yes. these, these interviews, um, like someone's watching. They're yeah. watching. Like you guys yeah. are an inspiration. So I need Thank y'all to day. make sure y'all go, what's the what's, what's website? Scheme Queens. Scheme Queens. Queens. Spell com. scheme for those. Right. I was about to say that. Spell it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, S-Q-E-S-S-Q-E-M. I'm like, hmm. S-C-H-E-M-E. Queens. Schemequeens.com is the website that you can go November 10th please support this film we came together we put our resources into this film and it's really just a good film and I'm not just yeah, it's fun it's it is funny. a good yeah. film and it's we have seen it's... a film with four female leads about real friendship that are also got a little rough around the edges yeah in a while in a while sure, it's, it's, sure. it's in the vein of set it off meets Ocean's Eleven you guys have a good time watching this film schemequeens.com it's please fun. support yeah. make sure you go support even if on that day you got a lot going on just buy the ticket you gotta throw some seeds in the ground yeah, yeah. you gotta support other people yeah um, and you too will be blessed so um, we are out here make sure y'all support Thank you, guys. Thank you, Dave. Thank you.